Hello everyone! Today we're going to be using Everyone Can Create Photo. So this is a book available on uh, Apple Books. You can find it on either your iPad, an iPhone, or a laptop. But if you don't have access to the book, we can go ahead and take a look at it together. So, welcome to Photo. Great photos have the power to communicate ideas evoke feelings and take us to faraway places. We see photos everywhere, on TV and the web, in social media, books, and apps. Photos tell us stories about people and things around us and even unveil surprises we didn't notice at first glance. With all the millions of photos that are taken and shared each day, what makes one image stand out more than others? In this guide, you'll explore photography fundamentals using photos and camera and practice techniques for telling your own captivating photo stories on the iPad. So what you'll need for this activity is your camera app, photos, keynote, and pages. Everyday objects. There's beauty to be discovered in everyday objects where we look at their unique shapes, texture, and patterns. In this first chapter, you'll learn to take photos of everyday objects with distinctive characteristics that you can enhance to tell Im imaginary stories. You'll discover how to photograph objects in a variety of lighting conditions and at different angles and then adjust focus and expo exposure to optimize your images. All, and you'll practice using the editing tool in the Photos app to brighten your photos or bring your photos to life. So with this first lesson, you'll be able to take photos in a variety of lighting conditions, straighten, rotate, and crop photos, adjust focus and exposure before you take a photo. So the first activity that we have, activity one, photograph something familiar. Photos capture the way light interacts with people, places, and things. And things can look very different when photographed in alternate lighting conditions or from a variety of angles. Start with a familiar object and explore how changes of light and perspective impact your photo. So, one, we're going to choose a subject we're in, by picking a small and interesting object that you can move around easily. So this is the first subject that I picked. It's an old container, glass container, that I really, really like. Then we'll find a neutral background. Clearing background distractions help fo helps us focus uh, on the attention on the subject. And number three, take photos. We're going to open the camera and hold an iPad or your device firmly, zoom in, and step closer or move iPad as close as you can to the frame of your subject. If the picture looks blurry, move your iPad a little bit back and then tap the shutter button. I want to make sure that I have a background that is pretty steady, so I like that uh, neutral color that I have there. Now I'm going to get close to the bottle. If it's a little bit blurry, you can go ahead and move a little bit further and it'll be nice and clear. Notice that when you tap on the picture, you see the, the little sun, so that can brighten the image or you can dim it a little bit, but I think right in the middle would be the best option. Then hold your iPad firmly and take your picture. After that, we'll experiment with different angles. Try shooting overhead, get super low, rotate the iPad so the camera lens is closer to the ground, get super close and fill the frame. We're going to take some pictures from the inside. Then the side, I like how the sun reflects on this item. Look at that, look at the detail. Don't be afraid to move your device and 
different angles. All right, so what do you think? Number five, adjust the focus and exposure. You can set the focus and adjust the brightness before you take a photo. So tap the subject on the screen to focus, drag your fingers up to brighten, and drag your finger down to darken. Let's see, so I'm gonna click on it, and now look at that little sun. We're going to make it a little bit brighter or a little bit darker. Let's try a little bit darker and see what happens. Six, change your location. Experiment with light sources and take more photos. Look for details and patterns that reveal themselves in different light. Try each of the following. Outside in direct sun, outside in the shade, indoors under a direct light source, indoors under an even light. Now let's take a picture under direct sunlight. And I'm zooming in by pinching the screen and taking a picture. Now let's take a picture of the same item but under the shade. Now indoors with the window open and then I'm going to move it to where it's a little bit a shade and see how that image changes. Now you try. And seven, review your photos. Compare the results. Tap the heart to pick the photos that you la love and tap the trash can to delete the ones you don't. Okay, so now I have all of my pictures in my camera roll. So I can click on each one. If I like it, I'm gonna click on the heart on the top right hand corner. So I like that one. Not so much. This one, I like the detail in. Do you see the little broken piece on the top? I like detail. Oh, look at this one. I think I like how it focuses right on the rim. So yes, I'm gonna say yes to that one. Okay, I'm gonna say yes to that one and click on the heart. Ooh, look at that. I like it. So. Now we have seen that an object can look very different depending on the angle that we're taking the picture, the exposure, how much light it has, and then whether we're taking the picture inside or outside with different sources of light. I hope you like this activity and share your results. <music>